Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to build a very basic, if not crude, evaporating system for the maple syrup process, for making maple syrup. Stick around and follow along while I try to build it and test it boiling some water from snow. It is a beautiful day out here today, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. What's up today? Guys, today I'm going to start off by trying to build a boiling area for the sap. So for the maple syrup, try to build a boiling area. What you're going to see here in, the sec in a second in the back of the truck is a load of really old cinder blocks that I got off a neighbor back in the city. He had them piled up in his backyard with looking for a way to get rid of them and I knew I could put them to use, so that was an easy deal to make. And get to know a neighbor a little bit better, of course. And then number two, I've got uh, some guys here in the area that I know who have uh, hooked me into a little job. It is, they are going to drop off pine logs later today, and there's a guy locally here who I'm milling them for, and like I said, uh, they're gonna drop off the logs. I'm gonna put, gosh, anywhere from seven to ten hours into milling them yeah and then once i get those logs milled i'll get back to to milling what's left in my pile that's the load of cinder blocks that i picked up from my neighbor's house last night there are about 15 of them they are from a foundation that was built in 1949 they are some of the heaviest cinder blocks i have ever picked up and here is the spot I cleared out the other day where I'm going to put the boiling area. The boiling area essentially is a little burn pit. This also gives me the chance to cut up and burn a little bit of this pile here. I threw the tarp on it the other day to start to keep it dry from the elements. It's now time to start getting busy moving these cinder blocks and stacking them into a burn area. I chose this area for the burn pit, the evaporator site, for a couple of main reasons. Number one, it's relatively flat and level. With the ground still being frozen, there's no way I could uh, really muscle and move around the ground to make it truly level. And number two, as you saw, as you've seen in the earlier uh, footage here, it's close to the pile of lumber, the offcuts that I have from the sawmilling process. I'm going to use those offcuts as the fuel for the evaporator. As you can see, it's a really simple design. Stack the cinder blocks around three sides of the burn pit. This is going to protect the fire and the flames from the wind as much as possible and allow for the greatest amount of heat to be concentrated under the boiling pans. You'll also see that I'm going three layers high. Three layers is about 24 inches with the height of each cinder block being about 8 inches. And um, I'm going to test it at this height, but then I'm also going to test it at two uh, bricks high, two layers high, so about 16 inches, to see which uh, works best and which allows for the, uh, let's say, the, the quickest boil as well as maintaining the boil. This should start going pretty well. This wood is pretty, this wood is nice and dry.
leave that a few minutes. So I've stuffed it pretty high with this softwood because I have all I've only been cutting softwood for the last several months, so that's what the fuel is going to be, the offcuts from all these logs. Those flames will slowly start to climb through that pile of wood. And what I'll do is fill these two pans with some snow, pile them up, place them on there, and see if I can get this thing to come to a boil. This very much mimics what's going to be happening with much of the sap in the coming weeks because the sap in the buckets is frozen in the morning and I'll be essentially putting ice blocks into these pans to cook it up and boil it down. So this will be an interesting test to see how this, uh, this little burn pit works for boiling. It really didn't take very long for the snow to melt. However, stacked three blocks high, the water never really got a boil going. It would steam like this quite often, but like I said, it wouldn't boil. And I kept stacking the wood in there nonstop for much of the morning, if not a good chunk of the day. I think we have a definite winner concerning the three block versus the two block height. I think for sure it's the two block. There's lots of boiling going on there. The water's getting boiled off quite effectively. I think that that's the way to go when I start to work with the sap. Super pleased this is working. And before I sign off for this video, I wanted to come back to those logs that were just dropped off. As I said, I had a whole delivery of pine logs, as you can see here in this shot over my right shoulder, dropped off along with a order list. And you'll see that I've got about, I think it is 24 beams that they want me to cut up. I've got anything from six by eight by 12 feet long to three by six by 10 feet long that I need to cut up uh, from these 17 logs that have been dropped off. More about this in a future video. And it's time to take a lesson from Blue. Sit back, lay down, and enjoy this beautiful sunny weather as spring starts to unfold. If you like the videos, please hit the like button and also subscribe. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.